konnichiwa and thanks for joining me for another episode of Sengoku Dynasty. So in the last episode we finished building the bridge and now we need to speak to Toshichi. Uh, in order to finish the bridge we did advance the, uh, the season. So now that we've done that, if we check our food storage, we now have some, some eggs and some gobo in here which was collected up by, uh, by Akko. So, we might just quickly cook that up. If we have a look in our wood storage, we now have... So, down here was all the stuff that I already had in there. For some reason, there's there's no sorting button. I'd like to see an auto-sort button, but when you take stuff out, it just leaves empty places. And so, our new recruit, Sayuri... She's collected these logs which have filled up these places but then she's also got these deciduous logs for us and some premium logs. So I'm going to pop these in here. And I'll pop these in here. And these can go in here as well. Okay, bamboo, I guess that can go in there too. Alright, so, uh, let's cook up this food. So let's craft that up. Now, food's been no problem. We've only got the two villagers, plus myself making a third one. But, uh... Got a bit of an abundance of food. So, gonna take some food on me in this trip and see if we can sell some. It does go bad. Uh, but there are a couple of traders that wander around. And we might be able to sell some during our travels. And that's the meat that we got out of our hair traps last episode. I'll pop this straw in here as well. Don't need that on us. Ah, uh, now. Don't really need to be carrying all these Yaris around. Now, I believe it's going to my own house. If I pull out my hammer. We go into furniture, storage furniture. Okay, I can place one of these in my house, and I need a couple of planks for that. So let's just grab some of these planks back. Pull out a hammer again. Pop that together. Put a hammer away. Okay. Now we can pop these in here. Alright. So, now the other thing I might do just quickly before we head on. In the last episode, I pointed out a boat that was on the shore. Not this one. Over there, there was a boat that we could loot. When we uh, changed the season, and I've come back, that boat's no longer there, and there's now a tent there. So we didn't end up looting the boat. I know there was loot in it, though. Uh, so maybe it's an idea to loot these things when we see them. Ooh, an iron knife. Alright, so we'll take all that. So there's more food. Uh, okay. I think I will exchange that. Alrighty. Okay, so I think I'll put the other knives away in our general storage. We'll go and talk to Toshichi and we'll get going on the uh, the next quest. 
can get up here. Critters along here, so the knife is a tool, not a weapon, so it can go in general storage. But the Yari would not go in general storage, so I had to put that in the weapons rack, which is an armory, armory furniture. So uh, let's see. We need all of these stones on us. Pop that in there. Pop that in there, and they will get used eventually uh, when we have jobs that require the knives. Um, okay. Alright, so. Leave a couple of planks on me just in case. Alright, let's talk to Toshichi. And tell him that we've done the bridge. And his sister told him, everyone's thankful. Uh, okay, they're basically telling us that we stink in our clothes. And so here's some fresh clothes. And I'm not going to read all this out. You can uh, pause through and read all this if you wish. But basically, giving us some fresh clothes. So we've got these bandit clothes that we found. Let's have a look. So, Luxury 15. Now, I haven't seen the needs come up for these, but I've been putting my other clothes in our general storage. So I guess if our villagers need them, they'll grab them. So there's the bandit clothes, Luxury 10. These are Luxury 15. Yeah, let's have a look. That's not a good look. That looks very uncomfortable. Uh, let's put these on then. It's a bit more respectable. Let's put these bandit clothes in our storage. Pop them in there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll keep some of that food on me for trading. Alright, so now... So basically he's thanked us for building the bridge, um, given us some fresh clothes, and now he said that there is a demon, an Oni Baba. Now I'm not sure about the Baba bit, but I do know, I have come across the word Oni before, and from my understanding an Oni is a demon that can bring good luck. So I don't know about the Baba bit on the end of Oni. But uh, we're going to head back and speak to Kenjo. Kengo. Something to eat here. So he's the warrior. We already spoke to him with another quest. So we can go over our bridge now that we've built it. And... this direction yeah on the map there's a marker here it says custom marker I don't know if they just if they haven't put the ability to put a custom marker but uh, I can't figure out how to put one so maybe it's just a planned feature but uh, if any of you guys know how we can place a custom marker on the map then uh, leave me a comment down below so we're just going to keep heading in this direction. We can follow our quest icons. I uh, believe that Kangyo will be the closer one. And we're going to take the path this time, I guess, as much as we can. And uh, there's his little house over there. So let's come over across here. And we'll go have a word. So this part of the quest is optional. Don't need to speak to him. Let's have a look at what he's got to say. 
How's the hunt going? He's having a break. Okay, speak to him again. About the creature who's scaring the village. So he's, yep, demon hags. I think he was married to one. Always had an opinion on everything. Uh, she'd always say that's not going to work and then it didn't. So, yeah, I don't know. But once again, not going to read through all this. Basically, uh, yep, we've talked talk to him and he's just complained about his ex-wife being a demon hag. So, all right, continue on and let's look for this demon. Get down here without hurting ourselves too much because there is a bunch of fall damage. Now, over here, there's clay, clay over here that we can get. With a pickaxe haven't got up to the need for anything that needs clay yet but if we're looking for some that is where we can find some so let's just follow this pathway along more clay here there's a little tent here nobody's around okay we've got a fishnet got some oil so I think we needed oil to uh, to make a lantern, if I'm not wrong. Okay, nothing else. All right, there's another bunch of clay there. Quite a bit. Oh, what have we got here? Uh, this looks like it could be a mine, maybe. What's that? A refugee hat. Okay, I'll take it. Refugee clothes, take that. Ooh, an iron pickaxe. Oh, definitely going to take that. I don't know if this is a mine, if we can uh, get in there later on. Bit of grass growing in the middle of the sky there. All right, well. Sure, that'll come in handy. Okay. So, we'll cruise up here. I'm just going to follow the path, but in the general direction of our quest meter. Or a quest marker. That you can see up in my compass at the very top. Now, this here is a trader, this symbol here. It's kind of like a little bag, I think. She's a trader, we can talk to her. And she's telling us about uh, about another village. We can press F to trade with her. She is a food merchant. I'm going to sell her some food. And we'll sell that to her. She's got four money left. I don't know what the currency is exactly. Let's sell her one of those. All right. So now we've made some money. And I decided to sell the food because the food goes bad. And all the other stuff, like, I mean, sell rocks or sticks or logs or whatever. But uh, none of that stuff seems to go bad. And I figured I may as well, uh, may as well sell our, sell some of our food because we've got, we've got so much of it. So, that's not who we were looking for though. She is up here. Okay, here's our quest market. All right, so we're going to talk to her. Are you an Oni Bowler? Bit of a cutscene here. There's some music. Uh, I do have the music turned down for copyright reasons. But, uh, here's a bit of backstory.
Okay. And she's disappeared. But, uh, she's now given us a mask. And it's, it's used in theatres that depicts a jealous female demon. It's worth 120. I don't know what the, uh, the currency here is. But, uh, luxury needs 35. What's this? Luxury 5. I don't know if I'm going to scare people away wearing it, but uh, we can try it on. There we go. Alright. I'm guessing it's just going to go by stats. I don't know. But, uh, so basically she's just given us a bit of a story about, uh, you know, the everyone's sick of the, uh, the tyranny and the, the uh, samurai lords controlling everything and that uh, she's trying to divine our future, whether we're going to have a successful life here or not and now she's told us to go to a watchtower we've got to get permission at a temple to settle more land and we can see can apparently see the temple from this watchtower that she's told us to go have a look at so that's the watchtower up there We're just going to follow our quest marker again. We've got something else here on the side of the road to loot. What do we got in here? Gloves. Some shoes. All right, we'll take all of that. Oops. Okay. So these have a luxury of 15. They're worth 60, 60 money. What are these? They're worth nothing. Oh no, they're worth 50. Alright. We'll put those on. Some gloves. Don't have any gloves, so we'll put those on. Uh, looks like maybe we can put a water bottle or something in here. So we might have to try that. But uh, let's head on over to the tower. And these are some pretty weird looking shoes. Big square quads. Alright, up here. Whoops. Up the stairs. Climb up here. Okay. Now we get a bit of a bit of a view, which gives me Assassin's Creed vibes. Gives us a bit of a lay of the land. Shows us a few villages and things. There's a village here. That look like a bunch of stairs leading up to some sort of thing. There's a little camp there. Got a watchtower there. So I don't know if there's like a bunch of different watchtowers that maybe we can... Uh, that was our own village that we just went over with a couple of burnt houses. So I don't know if like we climb other watchtowers and uh, get this sort of thing that opens up more more of the map or whatever maybe that's the temple that she was talking about I'm not sure and so I guess that's an intro or opening scene or something
And yeah, we're back. In control. Almost. Yep. All right. Then I can grab these. Yari here. Grab those. Okay. So now we have some more quests open up. We have. All right. So ask for settling permission. Level seven required. So our dynasty is level six. And let's have a look here. Thought I changed that across. Must have changed back. Maybe when the season changed. Okay. So alright, so in here. So we've got these optional optional parts of the quest, which we may as well do. Uh, because we need level 7 to go further. We don't have any side quests. So we do have some quest markers. So I guess uh, let's see. I guess we'll head towards the closest one. I guess I'm just going to follow the path here. And we found another small bridge construction site. Uh, where is it? Here? Oh, down there. Okay. Alright, so... Maybe building that will get our, our level up. But, uh, I think we're going to need to... Probably clear some of these trees because I don't think we're going to have room to uh, place down one of those construction special project workshops we've got to place down. We're going to need to clear out some of that area. See if there's any room on this side. There's a deer there. Place it there. Well, we can place it in here. Alright, so a bunch of stones, a bunch of bamboos, some logs, some planks. May as well get this ready. We need another plank. Didn't bring an Udsay with me. Uh, grab some logs though. There's bamboo around here these are okay that needs an iron axe that bamboo we've got some of the smaller bamboo here we can cut that with our current axe so chop some of this Keep running out of energy as well. Alright, let's uh, see if that was enough. I'm terrible with numbers, I didn't take notice of uh, how many we actually needed. That should do the job. Okay, so now we need some logs, planks. Uh, do I have stuff on me to make an odd say? No, I don't. I don't have any stones on me. So, I believe there was some, usually some along the path. So, let's have a look. Keep going in this general direction though. Looks like we do have another trader here. He's a beggar. Uh, okay, sure. Here's a coin. Thank you. 
All right, so he is an escaped slave. Alrighty. And we can trade with him, I think. Okay, he doesn't have a lot of money. What's he got? Jugs, bottles, feathers. All right. Let's sell him some of this food. So now he's got three left. So can he buy up three? Can't afford a lot. All right, well, we'll sell him a straw, I guess. And that's all he can afford off us. All right, then. Okay. So we'll continue along. Usually there's stones all over the road. We have got heaps back home, but that's a fair distance. And here looks like we've got a big village or settlement here. Okay, so this is Iwasaki, which is where we need to go to learn ironworking. So, uh, all right. Well, I guess that is going to do it for this episode. So if you did enjoy this episode, please leave me a like or a comment down below if you'd like to see more please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.